Hey yo, what up peeps? Welcome back to another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. Today we're doing another video of how to fake zooming or face zooming. I don't know whatever you want to call this, but this time we're only going to be using pen and crop and maybe a little blur and shake, but mostly we're going to be using pen and crop and this video should be very simple and very short. And yeah, if you're watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe because it only takes two seconds. And if you don't like it, you know, you can always change your mind. You can unsubscribe, but I wouldn't recommend that. But please, subscribe so let's get into this video all right so let me play the video from the episode i didn't do any editing on this yeah so that's where we're gonna be doing zoom in so right here i just did a little bit of cutting and splitting and just sync it with the audio i am also going to play this video for you I did a little velocity and just sync it with the audio. Yeah, so let's get into this video. So first thing what I'm gonna do is create a video layer. I'm gonna click Control Shift Q to create a new layer. It should show up right here. And I'm going to move this at the top, just like this, and move it a little bit to the right side so I could see both of the clips, like that. And I'm gonna go to Pan and Crop right here, click on it. And now I'm going to go to at the end of the frame, just like this. And make sure you're on the position there, not the mask. Two more things. Make sure you have this locked. So every time you move your frame, it is going to move with it. And these two, make sure you have these two locked. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the frame and go backwards about a few frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe six is good. I don't know. I have to test it out. And I'm going to go forward, maybe around here and just zoom in. And I'm going to try to match this clip with this one. So I'm just going to try to match the eye. I'm going to just, I'm just going to try to match this. So I'll have to do a little rotation. Zoom in a little bit more. Something like this is kind of, it's actually pretty close. So some like this would be fine. And once you're done, I'm going to drag this keyframe at the end and make this one slow. Now I'm going to put this back to how it was before. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool, you know. And if you want to add some blur and shake, you can do that. I'm going to do that right now. I'll just look for a blur. All right, boys and girls, right now I'm doing a voiceover. Basically what I did to that clip, I added a blur. You can use any type of blur. I, decide, I decided to go with blur motion because I think it would look kind of nice. So I basically animated the blur and yeah, that's what I pretty much did. And yeah, that's all I want to say. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, but um, if you want to add some shake to this clip, I think it would look a little bit better. So I'm going to look for dissolve shake right here. I'm just going to use the default one and drag it to the second clip. And let's change this to 20. 0 0.020. And let's see how it looks. Maybe we need a little bit more. Maybe like 50. I don't know. I, that should be good enough. So I'm going to go about right here and make this zero. I want to make this one fast. Let's see how it looks. I don't know if you guys want me to play the whole video, but... That's all you get, but yeah, that's all for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And please come join the Discord because it is free. Link below in the description if you need help. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace. Peace.